What's up guys, it's Darius. Today I'm bringing you guys some more Final Fantasy 15 news for you guys. Now, yesterday for some reason Square Enix decided to upload literally 16 videos of Final Fantasy 15, but all of them had to do with pre-order DLC for the game. Uh, now, previously we had actually seen these pre-order bonuses for Japan, but we had actually kind of been waiting to see exactly how we might be able to get them in America, and some of them we already had an idea actually maybe a couple weeks or a month after they first announced it, but now these are all literal instructions in the description of all these YouTube videos of how to exactly get every piece of pre-order DLC. So I'm just going to go down in a list, and I'm not actually going to put these videos in this video just because it's kind of unnecessary to download and put in 16 different videos. What I will do is link you guys to uh, all the different videos down in the description and have you guys look at it for yourself if you'd like. But what I'm going to do right now is just give you the DLC and how you're going to be able to get it. So the first piece of DLC is actually a travel pack. Uh, and it says in it be, uh, comes with a fuel ticket in a hotel and they also say that in order to get this you have to pre-order 15 from Amazon, US or in the Ultimate Collector's Edition. The next piece of DLC is the Angler set which obviously has to do with the fishing aspect of 15 and they said in order to get this you just have to have the Ultimate Collector's Edition for either PS4 or Xbox One in order to get this. The next piece of DLC is a gourmet set it says two types of rare cooking ingredients and they said in order to get this just pre-ordering you uh, Amazon US or have the Ultimate Collector's Edition. The next set of DLC in order to get for pre-order is Camera Kit. Obviously this has to do with Prompto and this is a camera body and a lens. In order to get this you have to pre-order from Amazon US or just have the Ultimate Collector's Edition. The next piece of DLC is obviously uh, a whole bunch of stuff for the Regalia. So the first one is actually the recolor of the 16-bit buddies reskin I guess for the Regalia which is I guess the whole crew in like a 16-bit style. And they said in order to get this you just have to pre-order the game for PS4 and Xbox One anywhere so it's not specific or any version just pre-order the game you should be able to get that and I think we already knew that as well. The next piece of DLC for pre-order is the gold chocobo skin for the actual Regalia and they said in order to get this it's an exclusive DLC item for Amazon NA so in order to actually get this you have to pre-order from Amazon North America in order to get the skin so if you did congratulations. The next one is the Cindy Mobile and they said in order to get this you have to actually pre-order on the Square Enix store in North America. Now the other thing too is that I've actually gotten this skin from the Carbuncle Surprise, uh, you know, like weekly thing that they do. And if you guys aren't doing that, you should still do it because they're still giving away stuff. Um, and I don't know exactly what prizes, but I know at the very least you get Square Enix uh, member points for doing it. But it's still going on. But yeah, you actually had or have a chance to get this from Carbuncle Surprise. But if not, you can get it from the Square Enix online store in North America. The next piece of DLC is obviously the Platinum Leviathan skin for the Regalia. In order to get this, you have to have pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition or the Ultimate Collector's Edition. The next piece of DLC is the Big Bang theme for PS4. And it said in order to get this, you obviously just have to pre-order the game on the PlayStation Network. Which I'm a little bit salty about because that theme is really cool, but whatever. I got the Ultimate Collector's Edition. I guess I should just be grateful. Anyways, the next piece of DLC is actually the Costume Royal Raiment. This is obviously a piece of formal wear for Noctis, and it's based off of the King's Glaive movie. And they said in order to do this, you just have to have the Deluxe Edition or the Ultimate Collector's Edition pre-ordered in order to get this. The next piece of DLC is actually a pretty weird one, but it's actually cool at the same time. Uh, it's actually an Xbox One Final Fantasy 15 Avatars, and it's a Noctis costume and carbuncle pet. Uh, I don't really know exactly how they work in the video that shows it, but I guess you have your avatar on Xbox and you get uh, Noctis's outfit and you're able to apply that to your character. And also if you have any props on Xbox, uh, under props you'll be able to get carbuncle and it says in order to get this you just have to pre-order the game digitally through the Microsoft Store on Xbox. The next piece of DLC is actually the Mage Mashers from Final Fantasy IX. Obviously Zidane used these and they said in order to get this, you have to actually pre-order from Amazon US. So if you pre-order from Amazon US, you will be given the Mage Masters from Final Fantasy IX. The next piece of DLC is the Gay Bulg. I still don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but this is obviously from Final Fantasy XIV. And again, you can only get this if you pre-order from Amazon US. The next piece of DLC is the Masamune. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly either, but this is obviously the, um, the big long sword um, that they have for pre-order for Final Fantasy XV. And they said that you can actually get this uh, if you just pre-order the game in general. If you pre-ordered any version of it, you should be able to get this. So yeah, the next piece of DLC is actually the Blaze Fire Saber. 
and this is obviously the gun slash sword blade whatever you want to call it that lightning has in Final Fantasy 13 now this is the one I'm actually the most upset about because as you guys know I like 13 a lot I know it's an unpopular opinion but I love 13 and obviously this sword was kind of badass so unfortunately you won't be able to get it unless you pre-order from Amazon US and of course I didn't but you know for you guys that you did you're basically getting you're basically actually getting about four or five five or six pieces of DLC if you just pre-order from Amazon US which is pretty cool um, and then the last one is obviously GameStop exclusive game that you can get a King's Tale Final Fantasy 15 if you pre-order from GameStop or EV Games and it's obviously kind of like a mini game sort of I guess exclusive if you pre-order from them and we've seen that before as well but yeah that was just a quick rundown of all the pre-order dlc i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like go down in the comment section below let me know what you pre-ordered and from where i know i'm gonna probably get i think one or two or maybe three of those things because i pre-ordered uh the ultimate collector's edition uh but yeah let me know what you guys are actually going to be able to get from where you pre-ordered if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please share it with people who aren't aware of this information go down in the comment section discuss with other people what you know your favorite part piece of dlc is or anything related to 15 and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching